Hey guys, um, I have a unboxing and first impressions review for you today. Now this is a going to be a three by three by three uh, shape mod. I don't normally buy them because it is the same uh, puzzle. I mean, if you know how to solve a three by three by three, you can solve basically every single three by three shape mod. But this one. I got for a cheap price and it was too cool to turn down. So, um, let's break it open. So, how they have this listed on eBay is it's called Rare Cute Tricolor 3x3x3x3x3 Windmill Magic Cube Twist Puzzle Toy Brain Teaser. Um, what it actually is, is a cake cube. But for some reason, they think it's a windmill. Uh, one of the caps, two of the caps came off. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess the caps just kind of fly off of this thing, huh? Oh, well, I guess if I put them on right, maybe they wouldn't. <laughs> okay. So this is a 3x3x3 three by three by three mod. Um, so for some reason they have it as a windmill, but it really is a cake. <laughs> So this is the uh, cake cube, and you see it's just got three different layers. So it's just like a three by three. You can do a, but it's a well, but it's a shape mod. And if you try to scramble it this way, it won't do anything. That's why. So it it's fairly easy, mainly because uh, if you see each corner. All of these corners are the same, all of these edges are the same, so if you try to do something, it won't do much. Like, if you try to permute the edges or something, let's see, um, yeah. And do that a couple times, and it should be solved again. Now, it does move fairly easily. Um, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart or anything. Let's see if the pieces are designed like a 3x3. Three three. Yeah, so we have our regular 3x3 three three pieces in there. They actually look a lot cheaper than a regular 3x3, three three, amazingly. And the core looks really cheap. The core looks like <laughs> it, a lot cheaper than other cores, but it should be replaceable and everything should be replaceable. But this does seem rather small. I'm going to do a size comparison once I get this back together. Oh, there comes the cap off again. So I will pull out my Diane Gu Hong 2, and as you can see already, it's a lot, not a lot smaller. The base is, the diameter is about the same as the Diane Gu Hong, maybe a little larger. And the height is maybe like a centimeter to uh, smaller. So it's rather small, but whatever you'd like to call it. It is a windmill cube or a uh, cake cube. I think it's more commonly called the cake cube, but if you do the checkerboard pattern with it, it turns into the, the windmill. So, um, And this is also another thing I won from Vicky and Neo on eBay. I'm pretty sure they own 3x3x3 cube store or at least all the stuff I buy off of eBay is from there, or has a little, uh, little 3x3x3 three by three by three cube thing on it there, $5 off. I've got almost a billion of those on all the packages I've ordered, so that's, that's what I'm going to be linking to because it's on just about every single package I get. But this is a really neat cube, you know, it's it's a cool shape mod, but it's 
just as easy to solve as a regular 3x3. So thank you very much for watching guys. Please comment, subscribe, and remember everything little thing you do helps me out and it makes me happy. So if you want to make me happy and help me out, just please comment, subscribe, comment on my other videos, and please, please tell your friends or tell someone, you know, try to get me known and help me out. So thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.